The Trouble with Tribbles often makes the list of one of the most favorite Star Trek episodes. It has Klingons, intergalactic espionage, out of control politicians, and a bar fight. It also has a climactic ending immortalized beyond film and video. In this video, we take a look at The Trouble with Tribbles, a witty sci fi comedy. The episode first aired in December 29th, 1967, was directed by Joseph Pevney, with writing credits given to David Gerold. What would you say if I told you there were not one, but two standing jokes long before the first Tribble makes its appearance? The first comes with Chekhov, when he tries to rewrite history of who discovered Sherman's planet. When he tries to wedge in more revisionist history comes a priority one distress call after the Enterprise raced to Deep Space Station K-7. Kirk and Spock discovered no emergency and it was Niles Barris, an unelected politician, who leveraged his authority to draw Kirk to put up security for his storage compartments. In other words, Barris made a little lie, an exaggeration of the truth, not unlike Chekhov's version of history. This standing joke continues when the Tribbles are introduced, and the K-7 bartender exaggerates its cost with Uhura. It doesn't stop there, and another Chekhov comment about who invented Scotch. The Klingon spins legendary stories about Kirk and the Enterprise, much to the displeasure of Scotty. A bar fight ensues, with classic exaggerated hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Tribbles become a living metaphor for exaggeration as their numbers multiply, threatening the food supply on board the Enterprise. Kirk experiences firsthand the true magnitude of the Tribbles' propensity to reproduce when the poison Quattro Triticale is totally consumed. It was both a joke and a theme carried through its conclusion. Even Barris is unable to control himself as he shares his fantasies. But Kirk reins him in and takes command of the situation. This leads to the second standing joke, the Quadro Triticale. Early in the episode, Kirk is unaware of the grain. Chekhov, Spock, Barris, and even the impetuous Arn Darvin were more knowledgeable. This is an unusual position of someone as important as the legendary Captain Kirk. But it's not an uncommon method known as incongruity. I'll describe it more casually as bending the lore. Captain Kirk is normally a steady and confident protagonist. Early in this episode, he takes a more reserved and modest role. It's not ordinary, unusual, and comedic. This is why bending the lore can work, but mostly in comedies, and is short-lived. Starting with the opening of the container doors, Kirk takes his rightful place in the story and literally has the conclusion in hand. From a position of humility, he rises to a hero. This elevation brings a sense of relief, another element of comedy. However, this isn't the only example of bending the lore of Star Trek. We get a very rare glimpse inside the working politics of the Federation. Though we've seen an ambassador or two on occasion, rarely do we see an unelected bureaucrat and its depiction is less than complimentary. Another pleasant element of The Trouble with Tribbles is it was an indirect sequel of An Errand of Mercy. This reinforces the lore of Star Trek, or its canon, gives that idea of the decisions characters made in the past have weight and consequences in the future. But there is a third comedic theme, other than exaggeration and bending of lore. It's played for a big laugh, you may have remembered Scotty's pun when he told Kirk what he did with the Tribbles. Before they went into warp, I transported the whole kit and caboodle into the air engine room, where there'll be no Tribble at all. The bridge breaks into laughter, and we chuckle at the Klingons' humiliation. But it wasn't the episode's first pun. And what is a pun? It is a word or fact that has different possible meanings. We see this from the beginning when Quadro Triticale was a glorified pun for wheat. Kirk even jokes about it. Wheat? So what? The bar fight scene was one pun after another. The Tribble, a pun for love, disrupts the piece with a lot of screeching and a little foreshadowing. Look carefully. 
Scotch takes the place of vodka when Scotty says, drink your drink, a pun for a pun. The Klingon Korax has different words for the Enterprise and Captain Kirk, calling the ship a garbage scowl and Kirk a Denebian slime devil. This takes us to Arn Darvin. One can argue he was a walking pun. One body, two meanings, a human on the outside, a Klingon inside. The Klingons dressed like Klingons are shown as adversaries, the true antagonists, the muckrakers. But it was another Klingon who looked and acted human, a human bureaucrat who played the villain with Klingon values. The enemy wasn't someone in uniform, but the way of life their species represented. The Federation wins again and takes Sherman's planet. The galaxy is safe from another troublesome salesman. The Trouble with Tribbles has long been a favorite of mine because it's a good episode and it's a good different episode. I mud, a piece of the action, maybe surely if you're not too particular, are the select few examples of comedy themed episodes. Add to that the addition of Klingons and a sense of lore with the Organian Peace Treaty is an episode that's both a welcome distraction and one with something at stake. Let me know in the comments below, what were your favorite moments? Is there another original episode you found more comedic? Like, share, or subscribe if you want to see more Star Trek content. This is Mr. G from Synergy saying, keep your chicken sandwiches and coffee safe for your captain. Make sure to check out other videos on my channel.